Pterodactyl here. Today's video is going to be on this here Scrub Cadet LTX 1042 that keeps coming back and coming back and coming back. But before we start the video, I need for you grass rats to do one thing, and that's subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Also, go to our other channel, Terrell Fixes All Skits. You want to see all the funnies? Go to Terrell Fixes All Skits and subscribe to that channel. All right, back to this scrub cadet. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. I sold this tractor used to a customer probably two or three years ago, I can't remember. And it keeps coming back. And the reason it keeps coming back is he keeps hitting something. Now, I don't know if you know much about this particular model, Scrub Cadet. It's got the timed blades. And by timed blades, I mean the blades are longer than a regular mower deck where the blades miss each other. This one's timed. So they, one blade's got to sit like this, one blade's got to sit like that. So they don't hit each other. So what happens is when you hit stuff like stumps and rocks and curves, it throws it out of time and then the blades crash into each other. So I lost count on how many times this thing has been back. So finally I just got to the point I said, look, how about I just buy it back from you and I'll sell you a different tractor, which is what I did. So now it's mine. So now we're going to take it apart and I'm going to fix it. I'm going to retime the blades and then I'm going to put a new belt on it and then I'm going to try to resell it again. But uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a stupid design in my opinion. This time deck thing is stupid and um, it's very expensive. The belt, the timing belt on it, I think I forget what it is, what it costs, but I'm pretty sure it's close to $100 now. And it's just a dumb design and I'm not a real big fan of Scrub Cadets. The newer ones. And the home, the home center ones, these cheap ones. You know, they do make a better grade of mower and the old internationals, you know, that guys collect. Those are fine, but this MTD garbage, I like to call it. Ah, all right, where's my pad and kneel on? So first thing we're gonna do is pull a deck. We do have a video on how to tie the blades. We gotta pull these releases here. And there's one on the other side. And then we got a quick pin in the front. Take out this link, Lancelot link. And then we need to take the deck belt off. Off the front engine pulley. And then let me raise the deck back up over here, Mr. Cameraman, to get the linkages out of the way. And I should be able to just slide this, uh, this mower deck out from under here. Oh, let me put it that way. I forgot the cable, the blade engagement cable right here. Pull that quick pin, release that, undo the spring from here. Now I can shove, I'll shove it out this way, it'll be easier. Let me get over here again. It's just a 42 inch deck. I told them, I said look, whatever's in your lawn that you're hitting, you need to remove it. Or don't cut so close to it. So look, look at the belt. Look at it. 
that was a brand new belt. You can see. You see it's brand new. We just put it on there. And he immediately trashed it. He immediately, I think he jumped on the mower and went, there's that stuff. I think I'm going to try to whack it again. Maybe this time it'll chop it off. Or whatever it is. And he burned that belt right up. Look at that. I can get it off because it's so thin. Look at that. He smoked it. And then, that was another thing he said. Because it's got that Crawler Courage engine on it with the leaky valve cover. And that was leaking, so we had to fix that too. And he goes, the thing is smoking real bad, man. It's smoking real bad. Well, I thought, okay, well, maybe we did a bad job putting that gasket on there and sealing it, and it's leaking. No, this was what was smoking. Now, you would think after five or six or seven or eight times that this thing had been back for the same problem, he would know what burning belt smells like. And again, you can see it's a brand new belt. So, somebody told me one time with some of these knucklehead customers you deal with, sometimes the best sale is the sale you don't make. You gotta kind of read your customer. I remember one time I had a customer come in and he's all, you know, chest all out and he's big and bad. And I'm a tough guy. And it's like, I need a lawnmower that can take a lot of abuse because I'm tough on stuff. I'm a construction worker and I wreck stuff all the time. So I need something that can take a lot of abuse. And I said, I don't have anything like that. I don't, I don't have a mower like that. You'll just have to go somewhere else and got rid of that knucklehead because I could already tell this guy's going to be trouble. So look at all this. This looks like bird seed or something. That's uh, sunflower seeds. They're all over this thing. This thing was clean when we gave it. So this is what I mean by time blaze. They gotta be timed. And we had them perfectly timed. So this blade's got to be like this. This blade's got to be like that. And when you whack something, it throws it out of time. And as you can tell, they're all nicked up from hitting something. This is all rusty. This is a fresh. You can tell that's fresh. So that's where the blades crashed into each other. So he hit something, threw it out of time, and then they they crashed into each other at some point probably right here and then that was it he said he went three feet and that was that so you know what I did I gave him a note shirt I said here wear this shirt no yeah well, thanks. Got, a, got my, you bought my the mower back from me. Got me a different mower, and uh, I got a free T-shirt. You're great, Terrell. That's why it was so hard to turn when I was just turning the blades because this brake was engaged. All right. So let's get this uh, timing belt off. Oh, without my fingers pinched in there. There we go. All right, let's flip it over, take a look. So we want this one like this. We want this one like this. So they got these little arrows on here, and one here, 
So I already know what posi position I want it in. Let me lock that in like that. Now, sometimes this mechanism here will get rusty and frozen and that'll throw it out of time too and it may not be the customer's fault because they hit something. It's just that this is such a poorly designed piece of fecal that uh, this thing will stick and get frozen and then it may, it may move a little bit and put some slack in the belt and then that'll throw it out of time but this one's moving. I'm going to spray some of our gel lube on there. Now we can flip it up. So it's coming close. I'm off. I'm off a little a little bit. I want to get this one straighter that way. See, I'm off a little. This one we want. So let me take it back off. Should get something to hold that out of the way for me. Let me get a pair of channel locks or a uh, vice grip. Hold on. Alright, put a pair of vice grips on here to hold this brake thing out of the way. Let me, let me pull this out. Get this off again. Let's try to retime this. Put one like that, one like that. Once I get it locked on that cog, one of the teeth on there, it should. There we go. There we go. So now we're straight this way, straight that way. Probably could go another tooth. Let's see if we can get it perfect. Guess that's yeah that looks good if that's as close as we're gonna get it all right let's take a look see underneath all right so since I'm gonna resell this thing this is a stupid design this is the dumbest moron but the problem is these blades, so you put them on correctly, have got a certain, a, a certain pattern on there. So it's not like I could just take some standard 42 inch blades and put them on there. I guess I could, maybe, this is just coming to me right now, this thought. But no, it's those, those blade shafts, those special blade shafts. And because we got this double pulley here, you need a longer one here. Because I was thinking, maybe I can find another set of blade shafts. And I can just put some standard 42 inch blades on there and just eliminate this stupid time deck crap. Because like I said, this belt here, this thing's like a hundred bucks. Or that stupid belt. Alright, let's zip the blades off. Sharpen them. And then another problem with trying to put like standard blades on it and you sell it. What if the guy takes it somewhere else, whoever I sell it to, and they look this thing up and they'll be like, somebody, somebody altered this and I don't know what parts they use, but... You need a spindle. We're going to have to put it back to the way it was because, you know, they're going to be looking up the parts on a parts breakdown. And it's not going to match the parts that I swapped out to make it different 
You know what I'm saying? Unless I put like a list under the hood, which nobody's gonna look at that anyway. But see the bow tie in there? It's a little bit oblong. And then I'll show you what I mean. Because I got a set of 40, 42 inch, just standard 42 inch with the six point star, MTD, Cub Cadet, even says Toro, because I think Toro had MTD make a tractor for them one year. What a mistake that was. See, they won't fit on that star pattern because it's, ob it's a little bit different. It's a little bit oblong. They, you know, they made it so that way when you stick this blade on there, it's gonna fit. See, I can't get it to fit. It won't fit on there correctly. Because they know it's a timed deck. But it would be nice to stick a couple of these on there. Oh, look, they still hit it. 42 inch. Standard 42 inch blades. So that ain't gonna work. Piece of fecal. That's what I call it. All right. Let me throw an edge on these. Now I know what some of y'all are saying. Let's put a new set of blades on there, Carol. Put a new set of blades on there. You know why I'm not going to put a new set of blades on there? This is something else that makes me mad about this scrub cadet. These are the tying blades that go on there. They're $40 a piece. $80 for a set of blades. See, they fit. Well, you know what? We're just cutting grass, not the space shuttle. We're not chopping at uh, moon rocks with it. So all I gotta do is just make those those nicks, sharp nicks. Cause these blades, they're still good. They just need to be sharp. So I'm gonna sharpen them up. So they're sharp using my four inch grinder with that flapper wheel on there and it gives it a nice, when you do it that way, you know, it looks good too. Now I did have an actual blade grinder that used like a grinder like on a bench grinding wheel, but that thing is so loud and it just takes so long to sharpen the blade with one of them that I got rid of it, I sold it because I can grind them with a four inch grinder faster. They don't get hot when you're done with them. And it doesn't make as much noise as that other one. And then again, who cares about these nicks? They're sharp nicks, plus it's a timed deck. So they overlap by about this much. That's the whole idea behind a timed deck. Because a typical Mower deck that uses two blades or three blades. You know, the blades pass by each other with a little gap in the middle. So what happens is as the blades wear and get shorter, it starts to leave a strip of grass. So if you got a two blade deck, you know, you get a strip. And if you got a three, three blade deck, you're gonna have two strips as those 
blades wear out. And then you got to move over a little bit to cut that strip that it left until you get a new set of blades. So that's the, that's the idea behind the time deck. Um, walker mowers use a time deck, but they don't use a belt. I think they use a, a belt on their newer line of mowers, but their, their, more, their other mowers, they still use gearboxes. So they got, you know, gearboxes that run these. So when you hit something with one of them walker mowers, and you break one of them gearboxes, yeah! You got a, a heck of a, a heck of a, a repair bill when you bust up one of them boxes, because them boxes ain't cheap. So I've had guys do that before. I've worked on some of them walker mowers. Good mower, but when you got knuckleheads operating this stuff, it costs you a lot of money. And if you think about it, is cutting grass really that hard? I guess it is for some people. Keeps me in business. So now we can put a new belt on it. Because the mower runs like a top. So under the hood, engine to deck belt, that's what we want. There's the deck spindle belt, there's the timing belt, and lower drive belt, that's the one from the transmission to the uh, engine, so we want engine to deck belt, 9540-4228. So let me look on my vast array of lawnmower belts and find that belt. So I looked up the belt, it said it was a half inch wide by 80 5.20 which is about 85 and a quarter so you could use an 85 because you know it's only a quarter of an inch I don't know why they made it a quarter of an inch longer like that was gonna matter and then of course it's got the belt diagram right on here dotted line is the drive belt so we want to go like this and then over to this one and then we're going to wrap it around this one so I'm going to have to take these bolts out because those are the uh, the little belt guys so let me get a 3 8 socket Reinstall this, and as Elskin said, fire it up, fire it up, fire it up, engage the blades. All right, let's pull it over this way so we can get this hooked up. Oh, it's got to go underneath, and that's got to go there. So we can pull it and make it tight. I got it on the right one? No. Right here. Is this the one? Yeah, this is the one right here. You can see where it was wearing in. Uh, stick it on the wrong one, knucklehead. Put the little keeper on there. And then put our quick pin in there. Alright, 
So we got that hooked up. Slide. Slide it under there. Go on the other side. Let's throw this over there. I got a pad on right here. And then I'll feed it through this other belt guide in the front where the engine is. You can usually force it through there. Or you could take that guard off. But I usually just force it through. If you get it at the right angle, it'll go right through. There we go. All right, so now it's on. Let me lower the deck engagement lever. So we can get the links down. And then we're gonna... Oh. Sometimes you can get lucky. And there we go. That one's locked in. I'll do the one on the other side. Got that back far enough. There we go. That cable was flopping around back there. The zip tie broke. So I gotta put a zip tie on there. And then now, put the link in the front. Got our quick pin. Because every time this mower left, we would take it out when we got done fixing it and timing it. We'd kick the blades on. Then we'd go out and cut grass with it to make sure it's all good. And then a week or two weeks or in this case, I can't see. I got to get on the other side. This last case. I don't even think it was a day or a week or a weekend. Belt's tight. Zip tie and zip tie that cable up in the back before it gets caught on something for the next guy. Now I know I mentioned that I was going to spray the gel lube on that mechanism and I did. We just didn't show it on camera. But we sell this in our online store. But I did sp spray the gel lube on those mechanisms. We just, he just didn't catch me filming it. All right, let's start this thing off. Blades kicked up right away, they didn't spin slow. So let's go across the street and cut some grass. Grass rats. The light bulbs. So I'll have to fix that. 
Like I said, in my opinion, these mowers are garbage. It's just fine when you're not hitting stumps and rocks and curbs. And... I've said this before. You ever look at the brochures when you're buying a new lawnmower? And they just got the person on it, the husband and wife out doing yard work, and they got the perfectly manicured lawn. That's what these are made for, that kind of lawn. They're not stump grinders or root pickers or rock throwers. They're made for cutting grass. And there's your dinner grass rack. Well, there you have it. Had to fix that problematic mower that just kept coming back. Had to buy it back from the customer. Got him a different mower that didn't have that time deck on it. And look, look at that belt, brand new belt. Isn't that, that's pretty. Isn't that nice? I think I'll wear this. No, I'm not gonna wear it, that stinks like burnt belt. So, go to our web store, buy some tarot apparel, Maybe you have a knucklehead in your family that's operating power equipment, or you know of a knucklehead operating power equipment, and you want to get them this note shirt. So check out our web store. We got all kinds of stuff there. Follow me with your problematic mowers on Facebook and Instagram. 
And again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Now I gotta sell that mower again. And I hope I don't sell it to a knucklehead.